often have to make speeches at work. That's inevitable. I think it's quite right as well. It's important that we get up there and we share our knowledge and information, our plans, our preparations for business, whatever it is we're doing, we get up there and we tell people what it is we're doing or what it is we want them to do as well. Now, generally at work, you might be confined to a floor, there might be some offices, they might be quite small, there might be a few big ones. You might, if you work for a big organisation, even have something like a lecture theatre or an amphitheatre. Good for you if you do. Now, the moment you get set foot out of your regular environment, it's really worthwhile checking out the venue. Because, again, some venues, they don't have microphones, some venues are quite large, some venues, well, you just don't know what they're like until you get there and try it. So if you know that you're going to be speaking in a certain place, in a certain venue, on a certain day, why not take a little bit of time out of your schedule, go and find out what the venue's like, size it up, picture it in your mind's eye, visualise it, and that will give you enormous confidence going into that event, knowing that you've done your homework, you've done the due diligence, and you know whether that's going to be a success or not. So always trust yourself. Do the preparation. Checking out the room is all part and parcel of your preparation, especially if you're a newbie speaker, if you're a novice speaker or a nervous speaker. It just makes sense to go and do a little bit more planning, check it out, and I can guarantee that you're more than likely going to get a result simply by knowing how you're going to feel when you get to this new venue. So I wish you good luck and good speaking.